Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. We are going to be talking about universal basic income up here. So this is an interesting one because it does not seem like something that would work out. But I will hand this over to you, Kirby, so you can give your thoughts on this program. Uh, to me, universal basic income, if everybody was bitching, moaning it, and complaining about stimulus checks and how people got stimulus checks and they, you know, spent money and was doing crazy stuff with money. It's only going to get worse. Um, so let's just use the concept of, you know, maybe not in this article, but just everybody receiving an extra thousand dollars a month. You remember with the stimulus, I believe it was like 12, 18. I don't know what the stimulus checks was or how that was all figured out. But, um, but like I told you before, I mean, I talked to guys in Michigan uh, who had rim shops and they, the rim shop, like rims that you put on cars, they've been open for 12 years. When they gave out the first stimulus, PP, I mean, uh, yeah, the stimulus, whatever, they quarter, that's a three month period, was better than any year they had since their existence. So people don't do for the most part. I mean, I know it's going to be some outliers out there. Going to be people in the comment section talking about, oh, well, I did this with the money. Yeah, it is outliers out there that did right with the money. Some people paid off debt. But, I mean, just look at all the activity, people doing stupid stuff. You know, it was on the news, people getting PPP loans, buying Lamborghinis and all that. Yeah, nobody can buy a Lamborghini with an extra $1,000 a month. But it's the same It's the same narrative. You know, it's going to drive prices up. Uh, and that's one thing that it is. And... The other aspect of it is, is it's too expensive. This is too expensive. I mean, this thing is three, what, 350 million people in the United States. Let's just go with 350 million. And then we times that by a thousand a month. That's 350 billion with a B, $350 billion a month that the government is going to pay out. Let's just say if, if they did that, I mean, maybe it'll be a threshold, an income threshold, but still the number will be in the billions per month, no matter what matrix, matrix or dynamics they use. Let's say they use the same ideal or income measurements that they did uh, during the you know COVID stimulus. It's still going to be billions of dollars a month, close to probably hundreds of billion dollars a month, because, you know, you got to pay for administrative costs and all that to distribute this stuff. Who's going to pay for it? I mean, they can keep going with the mantra, we're going to tax the rich, we're going to tax the rich. Everybody should know by now. They've been saying that for the past, let's say, 50 years. And it still hasn't happened. Because the truth is, the tax code is set up for the people with money not to pay taxes. They're not going to change the tax code because the same politicians who change the tax code, they benefit from the same tax code. So you can hate Donald Trump or love him. But he did admit to that, and he said he used the same loopholes that everybody else used. So the cat's out the bag. So how how are they going to pay for it? Just add more debt, more debt, more debt. And then the other one is, I believe, it's going to cause major inflation, especially in the grocery stores and things like that. So for the people that's not receiving the money, even the people that's receiving money, the cost is going to go up. You think during COVID that the price of goods and services went up. Just imagine if somebody had an extra $1,000. Rent will go up for all those people that think that, oh, well, they're not going to afford my rent. No, the rent's going to go higher because now the landlords know that you're making more money. Cost of a haircut is going to go higher because the shops and services know you're getting paid more money. Cost of everything will go up because they know you're making more money. That's how economy is, especially in a capitalist society. You don't get money and it's just free money where you don't have an obligation for it. The world will make you have an obligation for it by incre increasing the cost of live. And that's a few of the reasons why I don't agree with it. But Alex, what you got? Yeah, this one, this is this is really interesting because like you said, it doesn't work in a capitalistic society. And that program is it's I mean it's completely socialist. Um and you know, knowing people, especially, you know, in-laws and family, my wife, uh, that come from a socialist country that have programs that are similar to that, that country is not doing good at all um things like that just do not work and all the problems that you mentioned are what would come to 
fruition. I mean, seeing inflation rise again, that would happen. I mean, we saw how much prices doubled, tripled from just stimulus checks and mortgage forbearance. I mean, if we if the government was continuously giving out stimulus checks every month, I mean, the inflation would be ridiculous. And essentially, in a sense, that's almost what happened with, uh, you know, my wife's home country in Venezuela, where um, it wasn't that they were necessarily printing out all this money and giving it cons consistently per month, but they just decided, hey, we'll just knock down the prices on everything, which made businesses go out of business and you know how how does a country afford things like that and consumption people consuming more than they normally consume yeah it's just things like that are just insane i mean i don't know how people think that things like this will work but in an, in another factor too i think it's just lazy on the part of the people that see this as a benefit because there's so much opportunity at your hands in this country that you can go ahead and make money for yourself i've always thought of the i've always had the mindset that everyone has equal opportunity here what regardless of maybe they don't have the same advantages but to your story and to my backstory you know and your story especially um you know the advantages may not have been there for you but the opportunities were there and it goes for everybody especially those who are in uh impoverished environments there's we've talked about this there's more i would say more drive or more opportunity for them because they've dealt with not having anything at all so if you're in that situation why expect or why depend on a handout when you should have the most drive within yourself to go and make something of yourself I just, yeah, I think this right. program is just completely ridiculous. Yeah, they, uh, they've tried to implement, like, in certain states and counties. Uh, I know in Houston, they did it with a select population. California, they did it with a select population. Um, of course, when you hear in the news media, um, certain sectors of the news media talk about how good it is. Um, speaking of Venezuela, um, a lot of the people that's migrating across the border is coming from Venezuela. Uh, so if it's so great, why don't they do it? Um, you say it's more of a socialist program. Um, I looked it up. How many countries are doing universal basic income? Zero. Zero, con zero countries are doing that. Why? Because insanity. Insanity to do it. I mean, is there other avenues and things that you can do? I mean, I believe supply side economics will bring the price of goods down, but America, we so much of consumption. But the last point I want to bring up is you think we got a job or worker problem or lack of workers or um, or uh, inept workers in the service business. I mean, that was some of the big complaints during you know COVID when it was passed out the stimulus and nobody was working. What and that was just you know one time paychecks you know two times in 2020 2020 and then two times in two, 2021 I believe that's when it was so now just imagine them getting that kind of money every month we had a worker shortage for just two paychecks and then you know you had the enhanced unemployment enhanced unemployment was giving people you know an extra two or three hundred dollars a month over what the unemployment is now you're giving them a thousand dollars a month over. So it's going to be another worker shortage because people are already lazy in America. And then now you're going to give them money on a consistent basis. You think they're, that's going to incentivize them to work? No, it's going to incentivize them to do nothing. We've already been through this field test already. We already saw the results. So why, why keep, you know, trying to fight in that? But, you know, you're going to hear people from the left side, the right side. They're going to give their, their, uh, their inputs on it, depending on what, you know, what side of the argument they lay on. But the truth of it is, is men lie, women lie, numbers don't. We've already seen what happens when you give a mass group of people money and you see how it affects the economy. So why keep trying to repeat history like you already don't know the result? And that's what I believe they're trying to do with this.
if it passed, but I don't think it has a snowball chance in hell of passing. So let me say, guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Share this video, subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.